Flash marker. Sad. The game drought has taken a lot from us. Played a, played a few new games this week. Every time we played the new games. In fact, we played a couple new games last week too. While playing the new games, everybody just said, feel like absolute S, just want her back, where her is sap. There, were, there was slight arithmetic involved in the new games. People said, I don't understand what's happening at all. Bring sap back. We play sap. Everyone says, this is the most boring game I've ever seen in my entire life. No wonder, you, you don't understand. Because you, you, you complain in my chat, oh, at least NL still plays games. Every other streamer I watch has just, all they do is TikTok reacts. That's because you're pushing them into TikTok reacts. No matter what they do, you're like, I don't like it. So they're like, fine, I might as well just, you know, like eat Liberté Greek yogurt while like watching content other people made. Anyway, we're playing some sap. I would probably never eat yogurt on stream. I'm just not comfortable with it, I think. This team is, uh, it's got a certain something to it. Why don't you go to the back? <clears throat> I'll be a fallen knight. You have a toddler, you know how to deal with this. Wait, are you about to give me like an actually piece of gold parenting advice? Because I do not know how to deal with it. <laughs> how I deal with it is that if I've let her get her way a lot, then I put my foot down and say, sorry, this is how it's going to be. If I if I have not let her get away with a lot that day, then I say, okay, fine, you can have a little chocolate. I pick my battles. I don't fight the food battle as hard as I used to. It, it's like a, it's a losing endeavor. But I definitely fight the, I fight the bedtime battle big time. Because I'm, just to be honest with you, I'm sick of starting the bedtime routine at 8. She goes to bed at 9, reading her some stories, tuck her in, get out of the room. One more book. Okay, I'll read you one more book. You promise? I promise. And then, like, I read the book, and she's like, no, no, leave, read another book. And then, like, I, so I'm, I've put my foot down on, sometimes we were having bedtimes that stretched up to, like, you know, 10 p.m. or something like that. I was, it was like a, a pitched battle. Last night, I put my foot down. I said, once we say one more book, that book is the last book. There's no one more, one mores, okay? This isn't The Good Times Are Killing Me by Modest Mouse. She said, okay, daddy. I read her the book. I said, last book. Finish the book. She said, one more book. I said, no, we promised. And that's why I see the fear in her eyes. I had her. Anyway, then she would, you know, cried a little bit, but I just let it go for like 10 minutes and then she went to sleep. Anyway, what was I talking about? This is not a good start. In fact, it's, it's much worse than not a good start. It's horrible. But it's possible... I mean, this is interesting because I've I've had there, there's some great YouTube sap videos coming out. I'm not just saying that, okay? I've had successful runs with all three of these animals, which is it makes this very confusing for me. I know you're gonna say, really a crab? Yes, really a crab. I I had a level three crab um, that got to 50 HP, and then I had you know what? I, if I remember correctly, I think I had a level three crab with 50 HP. I put a donut on it and then put a walrus on the squad and he went crazy. Now, I think you need a lot of pieces to make it work, but... Just got to figure out what I'm... I'm... Buy, sell, and puppy don't work well together. I actually think you just keep the shrimp. I think the shrimp is the most consistent. Donut, walrus, crab. Call me donut, walrus, crab, man. Your voice sounds higher than usual today. Your, your speakers are about to break. You should really get that checked out. You have to try something like this. Can you imagine, by the way, and I, I don't mean this to be like really rude. But can you imagine still using computer speakers in the year 2023 can you please type a, a one in chat if you still I, I know you're just gonna type it regardless can you still type can you type a one in chat if you're still using like desktop computer speakers like if every morning when you turn on your computer you have to lean over and go and they go like Zzz. 
laptop I'll allow just because they're built in, but like external desktop speakers, they're nicer than than in most headphones. Yeah, but you're really gonna put on music like blaring out of your desktop, and then you're just gonna sit in your computer chair and be like, you know what? Go ahead and drop two more for you. Like, are you, are you Rick Rubin? Are you in your home office, like, mixing albums or something? It's just weird to me. Anyway, I'm realizing that people don't agree with me largely here, so I'd like to apologize. You need to go. You need to go. You're not doing anything. Also, the pig is not doing anything, so I don't really know what I'm doing. We're doing this. We're, we're popping a manatee down. That's a great buy sell. I guess maybe the pig will level up. I did, uh, I, I blew up a pair of Logitech desktop speakers at my grandma's house when I was like maybe 14. Me and my cousin were there and I was like, you gotta hear this song. Went to Bear Share or whatever they had, downloaded, um, Come on, Eileen by Save Ferris. Crank the volume on the Logitechs. All I heard was like, and then we just like turned them off, and nobody ever spoke of it again, which I think was like merciful for us. But okay, buy me, sell me. It's not so bad. Honestly, I don't think you level the pig. I think it's you, it's close because of the jellyfish juice here, but I think you get more gas out of the buy sell. By the way, I think we're gonna get one to two wins, <laughs> or zero zero to one wins. I think I think that might be our lot in life right now. Level three owl is big this week. Signed, your obedient servant, a hater. an extremely hater comment. Holy cow, we got a second win. I was just going to say, I wouldn't mind you taking just a little bit extra. Just, a, just one extra buff, perhaps. Another manatee could hit hard, too. Really, you need to level. That's beautiful. Thank you so much. Sell me. He's gonna live for one more round. Up in here. Hating is fun, but I try not to hate on people. It's a valiant thing to aspire not to do, for sure. I think it's good to have more love in your heart. Now... Oh, you piece of crap. Do I do as I say, or do I do as I do? A little bit of both. It does feel great to be a hater. That's why it's so hard to resist the... to resist the, the siren's call. Huge, okay. And that's not huge, it's 2 HP, but it's not nothing. Plus the manatee's still chilling. Excuse me, roll. I... and maybe it's a problem with me, but I'm innately suspicious of... Anybody who is like too, um, they, that anybody that has no hate in their heart. And I'm not saying like for people, you know, based on any personal characteristic. I mean, more like you could watch a video of someone that would be like, you know, pulling their pants down and like taking a shit on a, on the sidewalk and then going like, oh, whoa, 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 oh, whoa, 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 look at me, look at me. And like, People in the comments would be like, fuck this guy, I hate him. And then like some people would be like, you should have more sympathy for the sidewalk shitter. You don't know what he went through in his life. He's, uh, so it smells a little bad. Other than that, why don't you just mind your own business? Like, you don't know. This guy could have just lost his job and lost custody of his kids. And I, I'm like, what went wrong in your life? It's like you, you're, you don't, tolerance is great. But there are also, like, there's things in the marginalia that are, like, there's things that are beyond criticism. Like, you know, if you uh, donate a kidney to a stranger, you can't be like, oh, why didn't you do it a year ago? Why'd you wait so long? 
There's also like, you know, just taking a shit on the sidewalk and then screaming like, look at me. That's like, you can't defend it. You just got to be, you, sometimes you just got to say F that dude. Hang on, I got to, you sell me? Don't buff the shrimp too much, okay? That's, that's the one. That's the one that you weren't supposed to buff. We can make something happen here. Go, go on ahead and put two more on them. <laughs> Sorry, I've been watching a lot of LeBron James videos lately. Sure. Uh, it's, you're, you're getting past your best before date, I think, but you are not. What does he say? I keep getting the wording wrong. This is bad. Oh, that's the end. I thought we had one more left in us. Never mind. All right, three points. Three wins. Three wins. LeBron James Deluxe Album. LeBron James inventing the Deluxe Album. Sixteen tracks, we want to do fourteen. Hang on, it's not loading too well right now. I need to open Microsoft Edge real quick. There we go. Microsoft Edge is open. The buffering is stopped. So something like wait, let me let me look at the video frame. It's like it's like around somewhere around here. I've clicked pause on pause on the video too much, and it is taking on this ride with me. Thank you all for taking on this ride with me. Load! Yeah. You know what? I got two more for y'all. Yeah. <laughs> Kiss me every time. Kiss me every time. Thank you all for going on this ride with me. Here go two more for y'all. Two chains is like, yeah. Anyway, sorry, just, this is just a great video. Yeah, this this is a team here. This team can do something. Oh, this team, it's it's already been done. Maybe like a sniffing pretender. It's fitting. Yeah, I don't really know anything about LeBron James or his legacy. What I do know is that he's a hero for simply inventing the concept of the deluxe album. Because everybody loves when you buy an album, and then uh, a week later, another version comes out that has two extra songs. That, like, if you use your brain for two seconds, you're like, they must be the worst songs on the album, because, like, they weren't included on the album in the first place. Thanks, LeBron. He's going down as a as a goat number two. Can you be goat number two? I thought there was only one goat. Oh, hang on. This is now. This is a run right here. Sell me, sell me, place me. I honestly think you could place a squid here for sure. I I straight up think you could probably roll a shrimp to give more HP to you. Don't really care about a beetle hidden hidden level three. I do care about this though. Minus two, B-sides are fun. Yeah, when you fall in love with the original band or the original album, then B-sides are fun. Because you're like, wow, look at all these songs that they astutely reasoned were not good enough to be on The Velvet Underground and Nico. But when you, if you listen to those, like, you know, right off the jump, you would be like, what the hell? This shit isn't as good as Femme Fatale. Pavement has some A-side worthy B-sides. They have like, they have a few, okay? They have front words. That's an all time pavement song for sure. It's not, it, it, they got more than most people probably. Amnesia is kid A, B sides. Yeah, but then they turned it into amnesiac A sides. They didn't stay as B sides. What's the best B side of all time? Zoomers and chatter, like, what the hell is B sides? Is that when you accidentally buy the. Uh, censored version of a rap song on iTunes. 
Okay, hang on. Place me, freeze me, sell me. Best B side of all time. I mean, I'm going to be honest with you. I feel like we, we got to go. Isn't Good Vibrations originally a B side? That's an all time track. If, if Brian Wilson said, here go two more for y'all in 1968, my ass would be there for sure. I would say thank you, Mr. Wilson. Oh, 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 it's great. Wait, I, I, my genius strategy has actually worked for once. I'm, I'm out of my mind. Are you seeing this? We're cooking. What happens when you hit level two? Do you still spend one trumpet? To give the first two enemies ink. Ooh la la. Now that could be interesting. Now that could be interesting. I'd love to do some buying and selling. You've served your purpose. We'll get you next time. Here go two more for y'all. Hey, NL, I go around telling people you're the pride of Vancouver. I reside in Burquitlam. Um, well, if you, I mean, I think this is where you were coming at this one from, but if you're from Burquitlam, why are you going around telling people anything about Vancouver? You should stick to what you know, like, I mean, having the best Korean food in the, in the Tri-Cities, for sure. Um, paying Vancouver prices for houses that are not in Vancouver. That, that's another thing that Burquitlam seems great at. It's not an insult. The, the Korean food was not an insult. The housing thing was just... Uh, that's, that's just facts. People go off on Vancouver houses, but at least Vancouver housing prices are to buy houses in Vancouver. People are paying Vancouver prices to live in, like, you know, Burnaby these days. I mean, listen. If you really want to be that close to Hanam and H Mart, then no more power to you. I'll take the half hour drive two times a month instead to make sure I get some good LA Galbi. Here go two more for y'all. Okay. No, listen, I still I don't think the jellyfish is is what we need it to be. I also think the shrimp has fallen off pretty quick. Burnaby is basically Alberta. It's definitely not, no disrespect. Maple Ridge, maybe. But Burnaby? Burnaby's basically Vancouver. I got If I had to move out of Vancouver but stay in the Tri-Cities, I think I would move to Burnaby. It's my favorite of the Tri-Cities that aren't the city I already live in. It's smoked. This is a very strong team. We're not going to have enough. We can make it. We're going to have enough. Level me. Sell me. Buy me. That's really good. Um, sell me. Buy me. And I think this is what we're rolling for a minute here. You had your chance. Next turn, we got, we got this crow coming out here. I really want this squid to pop. Pineapple can go hard, too. Another one of these. Okay. Okay. We, we got, we got, okay. here go two more for y'all. They're in the middle of the Doberman pivot. This is very good for us. Too bad there's no casino. We ran the casino. You were probably so busy typing no casino question mark in chat that you didn't see when we ran the casino. Wait a minute. Did we run the casino? Well, we ran the casino. People have got numbers next to their names. Bet you feel silly. Okay, sell me. Don't buy me yet. One of these for the moment. Freeze me. Roll me. Roll me. Not interested. All the Vancouverites in chat meet for brunch every season. I mean, I might, I might go ahead and meet you for brunch. But you have to wait in line for, for Jam Cafe, okay? I got other stuff on the go. That, that could be like 120 minutes of my weekend. I'm not getting back. 
I would rather just make like an online order, pick up and, you know, stop by Super Baba or something like that. Sure, Fable. Yeah, I am. I'm kind of getting up to the I'm, I'm having it up to here with Vancouver. In, in just some ways, okay? Not in a lot of ways, but in some ways. It's not a city that's built for families. And when you tell people about that, they say, no shit, idiot. When you have a kid, you should move out of the city. But like, I don't, I don't feel like it's a good thing for cities to just be like exclusively for like 22-year-old recent college graduates up to like people when they have their first kid. Like, do we need, we need a diversity of, of ages in the city. But like, I can't go out to any cool brunch places because the cool brunch places have their tables so fucking wedged together like this that you can't fit a stroller in. If you had the audacity to bring a stroller in, uh, people would look at you like you're some kind of domestic terrorist. Meanwhile, you, you, my, my impression of um, every server at a Vancouver restaurant that's actually cool, when I go, hey, can we get a high chair? <clears throat> that's it that's the impression so like we, we haven't been able to go out to eat it's like it's not that big of a frustration but it is like kind of annoying I still want to eat at some cool restaurants I want to introduce my daughter to like you know people are like oh your kid wouldn't like the food anyway oh really my kid wouldn't like you know, fried chicken sandwiches. This is what like every third restaurant opening these days is. I think she'd figure it out. She can't handle cool restaurants. I'll have a chicken shawarma, please. Ooh, I'm so worldly. And hey, what am I? I'm, I'm kind of just in my psycho era. Okay, fine. If we're going to have a chance, it's going to be like a sell me. It's going to be one of these. And then God is my witness. I think a reindeer gives you a future. It doesn't give you much right now, but it gives you a future eventually. Possibly. If we can level it. The squid? Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> That's gonna be a problem. Wait a second. Wait a second. We still... We, we would have won for sure. Gotta confess, I would prefer not to have kids at the restaurants I go to. Yeah, no shit. I would prefer not to have anyone at the restaurants I go to. Idiot. I would prefer that your ass wasn't there. You're impeding my ability to get service. Your loud ass breathing is messing up the damn ambiance. Talking on a Bluetooth earpiece or FaceTime the whole time about fucking nothing nonstop. I would rather nobody ever went to the places I liked. It's not like a revolutionary thing, like, oh, I'm the only one who's going to say it. I don't like being around other people's kids, especially when they're strangers. You get over it. They're going to be funding Social Security and the old age pension when your ass is just like chilling, watching reruns of Gravity Falls on TV for the 22nd year in a row. Like, have some respect. Can it, she can't get in and have like some chicken and waffles. She doesn't even eat that much. Okay, you need to hit level two. You need to move closer to the front. You don't really need to hit level three, but I'm at a loss for what to do. Okay, go ahead. Why gravity falls? I don't know. It's just... It's tradition at this point to, to insult gravity falls for some reason. Oh, get smoked! <laughs> I did get my email from Epic Games about my uh, my Rumble Bucks refund. I did. I got I've got thirteen dollars Canadian or something like that back from Epic for the Brawler bills and the Battle Pass that I purchased for R Rumbleverse. I think it was a very nice thing for them to do to not make you apply for the refund and to just give it to you. They didn't have to do that. They didn't have to refund it at all. The Epic, I mean, you, I know people like say anything positive about Epic 2023 challenge, difficulty impossible, but they did people a solid on that one for sure. It's a very strong buffalo. We're not going too far on this one. Or are we? 
These are OR scrubs. Oh, are they? <laughs> Could do some goofy stuff on round 12. I think we're getting to seven. You know why I say that? In spite of like the fact that the evidence doesn't seem to dictate that that's gonna come to pass. Let's go order. I'm gonna say that that's gonna happen because it allows me to say, here's two more for y'all. Well, so far so good. Level three. What am I looking for? Realistically, um, meat. Chocolate's always good. That's not the meat I want. That's meat bone. I want chicken drumstick. <sighs> Only chance of getting out of this is that, I think. Chili pepper would have been better this round, but to have any chance long term, I think we gotta, we gotta hope, hope for uh, level three reindeer. And then the penguin has to hit it every time, so it should probably be holding a donut. Oh no. Call him Duncan the way he do nut. Hang on. Hang on. Oh, if my... No, oh, he's still lost easily. <clears throat> Six wins. Still a, a different run than typical. Keep in mind, I'm playing Super Auto Pets on a Friday. So, like, you know that people are bringing their A game today. You gonna watch The Mandalorian Season 3? I have to figure out, like, if it's good enough for me to forego... Um, the mild annoyance of watching two episodes of The Book of Boba Fett in order to catch up. It's, oh, you'd be like a misshaped sausage. It's just, it's not even that bad of a thing. It's just like weird that they were like, hey, we did two seasons of The Mandalorian and then like also there's two episodes of it that are just like shoved into another show so that you watch the other show. Like, in, in the modern era, like, that's enough to get me to just be like, you know what? I'd just rather watch Terminator 2. Those two episodes were pretty good, though. I still think <laughs> James Cameron in 1984... Here's two more for y'all. Um, we, we can try Puppy for sure. Um, what I, We should get Puppy on this turn then and maybe save your level for turn five. That sounds right to me. I just rolled it. <laughs> oh no. Um, forgot what I was saying. Oh, I really think, honestly, they should make me the president of Netflix. I'm not like, like I pretend to know things about business, but really I know nothing. I have like no experience. But my first thing on Netflix is, as president of Netflix, my first acting order, okay? If your show is, sure, I'll take it. If your show is not a nine out of 10 or better, the episode length of each episode, the runtime per episode is capped at 28 minutes. I'm sorry, there's just too many shows on Netflix that I, I sort of scroll by and I say like, this looks semi-interesting for like me to just give it a shot. And then I watch three minutes and I go, this is not that good. And then I mouse over it and it's like episode one, 104 minutes. And I'm like, just eat it, I'm sorry. I'm not gonna... Was the Godfather Part Two is like less than three hours long, and you think like season four of Lucifer every episode? I mean, Lucifer might actually have been originally cut for network TV, so I'd like to apologize for that. But like, you gotta the show has to, Breaking Bad, The Wire, Sopranos, Better Call Saul, like prestige television. The episodes could be like just slightly less than movie length because the quality of the episodes was great. But now every series that comes out it'll be like it's it's hot island number seven try not to suck edition episode one is like 54 minutes the season is 12 episodes long i got a limited amount of time on this earth i don't like any of these units but you know i think a crab can be interesting so let's just let's just take it out there
You're right, the episodes of Mad Men. Mad Men was like 40, 40 to 50 minutes long per episode, and that's prestige television. They told a story. Now Disney Plus will be doing shit like, oh, here's the episode where like Hawkeye orders a cheeseburger. It's 84 minutes long. Even Marvel fans such as myself are like, what the hell are you talking about? Okay, we're toasted, by the way. We're done. <laughs> How did you get so strong? This is not even close, man. I tried watching Mad Men. It's a bad, boring show and it's super sexist. Listen, is this bait? It's, it, it takes place in the 1960s. This, the sexism baked into the show is part of the... It's like... The show didn't come out in the 1960s. The show came out in like the late 2000s to the early 2010s. It was unacceptable at the time. Next, you're going to be like, oh, it glamorizes drinking. You see all the messed up shit that happens to John Hamm? What's his name? Dale Cooper? We got, we got nothing, man. Okay, take me out of this. Don Draper, that's it. How am I going to get this puppy scale in, brother? Just go ahead and say it. You're not. Probably. Probably true. Two pairs. Go ahead and... Here's two more for y'all. No, Game of Thrones isn't sexist either. Because that's just like... Maybe some people can't handle this. But that's just how things were back then. It's like, you know... Usually the kings were men. And the dragons were locked in dungeons deep beneath King's Landing. I think one of them might have been a dragon stone. I can't remember now. And, I mean, listen, you have to make tough choices when your kingdom has been ravaged by grayscale imported from old Valyria. We're on one life, huh? <laughs> it's, it's so over. Sell me. Buy me and pray. This is this is buy me and pray hours. What's your opinion on Starsky and Hutch? I um I saw it in theaters with my mom and my dad. They had a great time at the Cineplex that day. Two wins? <laughs> it's not been a banner performance here. You should never play this game on a Friday. Or, you know, on Fridays we should go back to, like, pack one. This is... I, I don't even know what I'm buying here. What am I thinking? Maybe, like, um... Like a desolate noob or something. What's, what? In your opinion, what's Jessica Simpson's best role? Um, well, I'd have to give it to her role as Jessica Simpson on the reality show The Newlyweds. After that, I don't know. I guess you gotta say as Daisy Duke in The Dukes of Hazard. What am I doing here? I guess I'm taking you. I guess I'm taking you. Oh, sure, no problem. All right, I will. I'll return in just a moment here, chat. The, the, oh, we were she, she doesn't know it was muted. <laughs> she was in the background going, whoa. Oh,
I'm back. No, you, d you don't need to go to level three. We want to level up, get a jellyfish, sell the duck into a jellyfish. Or just get a jellyfish level up would be better, but just to be honest with you, I forget what level, a, what tier a jellyfish is. It's Friday, why not go big duckling? You know what? <laughs> you know, go ahead, here's two, three more for y'all. Pretty, pretty ass. Hey, NL, do you toe walk 100% of the time? Yeah, I would say like more or less. I mean, not like 100% of my waking hours because I'm sitting down right now. How do you walk like that? Well, that's like I look at you and I say, how do you walk like that? Like, your calves must be so loose to get your heel to the ground so easily. My calves are, are tight like a tiger. Doesn't it hurt your shins? I think you just get used to it after like 34 years or something. Hey, give me, give me one of these. I, I actually think it can pop. I think it can cook. You know what? We are going big duckling for now. It's boggling my mind that this is by far our best run of the day so far. Most animals toe walk. Listen, this is all copium. I don't walk like normal people walk. I've come to terms with it. I'm not going to be out here arguing like it's the sixth grade and be like, oh, actually, ungulates also walk on their toes. Like, it's just, it's just different. It is what it is. Definitely going to take an otter, of course. I mean, a rooster kind of hits the spot here. Maybe maybe more so than, uh, probably more so than the flamingo, even though the flamingo is closer to leveling. Give me some of this. I don't know where we're going. Isn't it a genetic condition? I don't know. The science, when, when I was young enough to go see a doctor about it, the science was far from decided. I did have the, um, the procedure where they put casts on your, oh, you piece of crap. They put cath, casts on your uh, shins. And then like it, it forces your foot to be flat. So I had those on for like six weeks. And then probably like within... I would say a month of taking the casts off, I just reverted back to the to to the more natural cadence for me. Also, I think when I had my cast taken off, the nurse was having like a hard day. She fucking sawed the shit out of my foot. It left a scar for like five years. But I was just sitting there in the on the hospital bed like uh <laughs> wasn't like, it's just, it wasn't like a, zzz, it was like a little, zzz. I think she was having a hard day. This should be fine. This kind of sucks for our rooster, but like, whatever. Get some more HP, idiot. Kind of sucks for our betta fish now, now that I think about it too, but I, I still think we got a shot here. Thought those saws couldn't break skin. I, it might, like, I mean, we're talking about something that was, at this point, it's like, great, great team. Um, 23 years ago or something like that. It might have just been like a friction burn instead of actual, like, sawing through the skin. But it, it hurt all the same. I can't believe this is what I'm doing here. But, and you know what? Let's go four squatted with a hedgehog with a pineapple. I can't see how this could fail. Would you like to become an honorary Penguins fan for this season? Did, did we trade uh, Brock Besser or JT Miller? 
I got nothing against the Penguins, but uh, like, if I'm going to become a, an honorary fan of any team in the East, it's definitely going to be the Islanders because they got Bo Horvat. But then, like, I, I was supposed to root against the Islanders because we had their draft pick, but then we traded their freaking draft pick for no reason. Honestly, just take a cook. We're, we're torched, dude. We're washed. You could be an honorary wild fan. Are you guys even making the playoffs? I thought you kind of like fell off in the central. No disrespect. Come on, man. What do you mean, come on? I know, I'm not knocking Kirill Capri's off. He seems, uh, he seems incredible. I remember when we beat your asses in the bubble playoffs, which in hindsight were a great indication of actual team strength. Everyone was like, yeah, we lost this year, but don't worry, Kevin Fiala is going to be a stud for us. <laughs> you were half right. He's, he's living it up in Los Angeles right now. Wild fans be like, yeah, but the Juicy Lucys aren't as good out there. Okay, give me one of these. And I don't even, honestly, I would just roll. At this stage of my life, I would just roll, man. That's two chocolates goes crazy. This squad has no, dude, it's the perfect Doberman pivot. <laughs> Magnum. Freeze me. This is the latest Doberman pivot that's ever existed. We might... It, uh, don't lose this round, because next round we might be going one-squatted. I think we're losing this round. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, we're drawing this round! No, you can re... Sorry to the Doberman, though. No disrespect. We can rework this team to, to function properly. It involves a Vulture. Selling a betta fish. Putting out a second level two rooster. And then if I'm being realistic with you, probably selling this hedgehog. Immediately. <laughs> Otherwise, our vulture dies. If only the roosters died, I could live with that. But, and then we need we need something that spawns something. Look at your stats. I know they're so good because I didn't sell my duckling. Double vulture. Come on now. Here's two more for y'all. And an emu as well. Huh? Oh, nice shot. Oh no, actually it was a really good shot at the end of the day. Ooh. <laughs> Buy me. Sell me. Place me. Roll me. Uh, why not? Just take some of that for now. Well, we're not going to ten. We might be able to get to six. There's no room. Oh yeah. What did it spit out there? Excuse me, can we can we go back in time? I'd like to see what animal I did not get. Holy cow. We drew. I don't believe it. You know what? Just go here. Okay. Not much reason for it. We want something that spawns something. You know what spawns something? Well, Cricket would give us an order problem here. This spawns something. And then this spawns something. You genius. Nice try. Dude, beetle get owned! That's exactly what I needed. Oh no, chili pepper. Oh no. Hey, come on. Oh! We drew, we won! Mm. 
I don't believe it. Can't believe this is my life. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We don't need a cherry. There's no cherry. Oh, you're right. We need to we just set it up like that. The cherry doesn't give us another another trigger. We need this. Level 2 Vulture would go crazy. Popcorn might be different just because it could spit out something that spits out something. This, is, this team is too strong. My potatoes, though? No, we're toasted. <laughs> I still think six is possible. Chocolate? That's, that's chocolate, as far as I'm concerned. Okay. Okay. Alrighty. If we don't get sniped, I think we're, we're crushing it. I'd like to go back on what I just said. Unless we kill the vulture at like the perfect timing. Uh, unless we kill the vulture. Or yeah, not the vulture, the walrus. Oh, oh maybe the perfect... Actually, this is the perfect... Oh, oh. 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 <laughs> <clears throat> Get owned. Honestly, you should take this, and then we'll just... Okay, Beluga is going to come out next turn. Not this turn, but next turn. They don't scream order until the round starts. I'm Honestly, with three gold, I'm giving you a cricket. A single octopus is death. Yeah, let's hope nobody hacked the game to put the octopus in this weekly. This guy's... The, the, the boar is like the absolute perfect counter to us. And now he has death touch. <laughs> please shoot the boar. I'm going to need you to shoot this boar, please. Wait a minute. We're going to win. All right. It's seven. Now you have to go, you get on the squad, and then we want you to eat something that spits something out. None of these yet. None of these. This isn't that bad, but if I freeze you, that means we're stuck. Actually, you know what, at this point, we might as well, because we'd have to, it would have to show up in the far left position. Yeah, so we can we'll swap to the the walrus next time probably, but for now, we'll have you spit out a deer or a, a reindeer to be specific. Next time, copium. Oh no, they have their own vulture. My squad. No. Oh! No! <laughs> All right. Well, honestly, they, they constructed their team in a, in a way that, like, definitely destroys mine. So I got I to gotta give them some credit on that one. All right. We got 20 